Hello everyone and welcome back to my YouTube channel. Today we continue the construction of a positive organ with assembly of a keyboard, one of the most long and delicate parts to assembly, since we also need to create the mechanics for coupling the two manuals. It was not uncommon in the past, especially in the French and Spanish organ building schools, to find small positive organs with two manuals, and the coupling between the two manuals was almost always of a drawer type, slightly moving one of the two keyboards. Usually, especially in the French school, the upper keyboard had a suspended mechanics and the lower one had a sticker action. I will also adapt this solution. As you can see, suspend the mechanics for the upper keyboard and sticker action for the lower keyboard with drawer coupling. By moving the lower keyboard just 6 mm, the mechanics are activated by connecting the keys of the two keyboards. Before starting, if you haven't done yet, I invite you to subscribe to the channel. Thanks to everyone who is subscribing and, as usual, a special thanks to my patrons. Let's start construction. First, let's start with the frame. It is a good idea to use joints to avoid deformation over time. Once all the parts have been made, I proceed with assembly. It is essential that the frame is perfectly square for the correct functioning of the drawer.
These are the frame travel stops. Now I prepare all the keys in spruce. The thickness of the blade corresponds to the spacing of the keys. I will use this splendid zericote for the natural keys plating. Chestnut plated with maple for alterations. A little help from my CNC for the maple front panels. With a design of a Renaissance organ described by the famous organ builder Pretorius. I glue them onto a strip of beautiful purple haired wood. After gluing the front panels and fixing the brass hinges, I proceed to glue the pieces of leather. A first coat of oil. Before positioning the keys, I complete the wind chest by positioning the pallets, the springs and all the pins. You have already seen the construction in other videos. For those who want to see it, the link is in the description. Once the various keys has been spaced, I can mark the location for the pins.
I can attach all the keys to the frame. For the coupling mechanics I had drawn these, but in real life they seemed too weak, so I designed a more robust version. Let's try the drawer. Excellent! It works so well that I can operate the coupling even with just one hand. A prototype of the upper frame to test the coupling. It works great. It was long, but I am very satisfied. One fine adjustment to the height of the keys, one polishing, and the fourth keyboard is ready. Bye, and see you next time!